Mac, thank you. The Victoria ISD board president announced he does not intend to run for re-election after his current term ends in May. Mike Mercer was elected as the District 7 trustee six years ago. He's here now with 25 News Now anchor Shauna Curry. Shauna? All right, thank you, Don. Yes, Mike Mercer is here with us, um, was elected to the board and then shortly after became board president and has served in that role for several years. So um, thank you for being here. Certainly. Um, what led to your decision to, to not seek reelection? Was it a, a, you know, some, a hard decision for you to make? Well, yeah, it was, it was hard. And, and I guess it started with a conversation I'd had with a previous board member that said, you know, when you know, you, you know. And I guess about a year and a half ago, I, I started to know at that point in time and it's to be in this position and to sit on that board is such first of all it's such an honor and a privilege to do that and to be able to serve the community in that capacity but it is also such an amazing opportunity to see everything that goes on in our local school district to see the time and the effort that's put in by our I mean literally selfless staff day in and day out I think mm -hmm. I had mentioned that they put in 110 percent. It's probably more like 150 percent. But you know, to see uh, these people that are that really go unheralded, that for the most part people don't stop and say thank you near enough on a regular basis, uh, it is it is so cool to see that, and and to see the effort that they put in. Because a lot of times in our community, people just assume, oh, you know, they're not spending the money right or they're not doing this. And I I literally watch administrators. Uh, teachers, uh, staff members up and down the entire district make make do with with less year after year after year, sometimes pulling out of their own pocket. I mean, for instance, just these last two days, uh, the special ed department did their winter wonderland, which I've been fortunate enough to attend for the last six years. It is by far, it, it would turn Scrooge or the Grinch into like the happiest person in the world to watch some of our, our most special needs students just be able to come alive and enjoy the spirit of Christmas. All that is done in mm -hmm. volunteer hours with volunteer materials. No district resources are spent on that. And, it, and it, it's just a testament to what is done throughout our district. And so I, really it comes down to the fact that I really want someone else in our community to have that opportunity to see the district through those eyes because there's so few of us that get to do that, but it is, it is so important that they have that opportunity. If someone's considering it or they've you know, maybe thought about it in the past and you know, are, are looking at this opportunity, what advice do you have for them? Well, yeah, I'm glad you asked that because you know, recently we've started up the, uh, the Insider Academy at VISD and I would strongly advise anyone who has any interest whatsoever in running the board for the board to actually take part in that. I think registration is open until December 20th and it begins I believe January 21st. It's an incredible, I think it's over four weeks, four nights with a tour at the end of, the, of our facilities. Uh, it's an incredible inside look at, at how a district operates from our maintenance to what goes on in the classroom to you know even our special education department all the way through uh, but it really gives an individual a chance to really see some of the challenges that the staff deals with on, on a regular basis and it also gives them a chance to look inside and see what amazing students we have we have some of the most talented and gifted students anywhere in this country and sometimes I just I don't think we get to showcase it near enough all right what are you doing next <laughs> <laughs> I am going to actually take a little time and, and, and make up for some of the time I've had to spend away from my wife and my children who have been absolutely amazing and supportive from this time. I've got a slew of friends who are so good at being intentional with their time and reaching out to me and I haven't had that opportunity to be as intentional with them. So right from the start, I'm, I'm gonna take the time to be very intentional and find out what's going on in their lives a little bit more. Not, not so much be responsive, but be proactive in their lives. And then after that, I plan on, on continuing to be involved in public education in our community and, and continue to be an advocate for our staff uh, and, and for our students throughout the community. Uh, so you haven't seen the last of me. Uh, okay, that's a good thing. I'll still be around, absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you for taking a few minutes to sit down with us. Well, thank and you for just, giving me the you know, time. Thank yeah, you very appreciate much. Appreciate it. So. All right, Don, back to you.